Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, I guess we go through here? Uh, what? I, I want to move though. Oh, shit. Yes? Alright, well, let's let's do this thing. Can we talk about my associates? You ready to interrogate Kellum? Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Alright, time for bad cop, bad cop. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? <laughs> Let's do bad, bad cop, bad cop. Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Spectres are above the law. We clear? Crystal. Good. Now, fortunately, I'm not after you. You contracted an assassin. Who's the target? Joram Talid. A Turian. He's running for office. He lives in the 800 blocks. Thanks. You won't see us again. No offense, but you're a problem below my pay grade. That may go down in history as the shortest interrogation ever. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. I don't give a damn what Joram's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. You might not care, but the people who live here do. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. That is the best way. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. And we didn't even get to see him fight. Talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on him. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. This is valuable. I'm following. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. 
So I get like a timer to update Zane. Oh, fuck blue lights. My eyes. Do you have the target? I've got him. Dude, this is like literally... This is like literally an escort mission. Fuck, where do you go? Uh oh. Alright. Almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. He went into the store, that's where he is. Also that that float data pad is like floating. Alright, he's hustling the humans. Well, he gets to die. I see him. And apparently, he's like running away like a derp. I'm following. Ah, they're going into the bar, of course. No problem so far. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Target in sight. They're right below. Meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. It's the weirdest camera things ever. Where are they going? Uh. No sign of trouble. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. Stay close, Shepard. I see him. Do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. All of you, back off! I'll kill him! One sec. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, you won't. <laughs> oh my gods. Hostages only work when your enemy cares if they live. Interesting solution. He was a racist and a criminal. Isn't that enough? To some, I suppose. I read your files. Isn't that what you do? Kill people who do bad things? Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father and I have killed a lot of people. You have it. There's no reason you should start. 
I read his files. What made it all right for him to kill all those years? I was six when the Hanar began to train me. I didn't know any better. Your mother woke me from my battle sleep. Then why did you leave her? Why weren't you there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I heard them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Alright, cool. Easiest mission of our lives. So he's loyal now, I guess. Well, you should be. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Someone like that is trouble you don't want to deal with. Someone's got to deal with it. Doesn't have to be me, though. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. That kid goes through the system. We both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin. Scales. Whatever. If you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society, and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Alright, so apparently I have to have completed his mission before uh, I can do anything with the forged ID, so that's why I didn't see anybody. So is he loyal now? How the fuck does this work now? Yeah, he's loyal now. Alright, I don't want him to have the glasses. I guess we'll have him have the, the fucking pretty suit. Alright, well, that's another loyalty mission down. Ah, oh, here we go. Disruptor ammo. Nice. Very nice. Alright. So we can either give it to the squad or just have it for myself. Well, I'm a selfish piece of shit, so it's gonna definitely go just to me. Uh, you don't want anything and you don't want anything. I don't know. Most of this is fucking bad, so... I'm not gonna lie. I've never lied before, ever. Alright, so, apparently, yeah. Uh, apparently now we can do the Forged ID thing. Be quiet. Batarians suck. I don't like them. Alright, so, she's on a couch somewhere. Um. I don't know. Okay. I may... We offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download... It's like... Okay, so maybe it's between this... Maybe it's down there. It's somewhere here. Yeah, exactly. That guy's the real racist. Let's be honest now. Somewhere around here, I think. Maybe. 
Ah. I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? Ah, here you are. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Oh? Is that why you're sitting here in public, whining loud enough for anyone walking by to overhear? Fine. You wanna know? Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? Wait, where'd the option go? Why would they consider you a risk? I don't know. They what the fuck? I had the option before, somewhere. and then I... Get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Wait, I, I fucking had the option there before. It's a private matter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you're, we've been flagged as a potential. There you go. See, this one, this one disappeared. It was weird. Board a ship back to Maybe these would work. They're new transit IDs. You, how did you get those? I acquired them from the stockpile of a very good forager. He won't be needing them anymore. We won't get arrested for using them, will we? Not if he's half as good as he likes to think he is. They'll probably only work once, though. If it gets us on a flight home, no one will come to harm by it. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Easy credits. Alright, so that's what you do with it. Alright, is there anything else to do on this station? Uh, arrival... to Chunko killing Pyjax. Oh, well... Thought I did that, but... I guess I didn't do that. Whatever, we'll just leave that one. It's not a big deal. It's not like that has dire consequences in Mass Effect 3 where the Pyjax uh, hate you or something like that. I don't know. Alright, back to Normandy. I don't think there's anything else I really want to do here. I'm not fucking watching that. Yes, the ship is leaving. We understand that. Alright, uh, let's see here. What can I do that won't take a very long time? Because we just did like two missions just like that. Tachanka, local cluster, Shadow Sea. So there's like jack shit, there's fucking Hades Nexus, Far Rim, I mean Project Overlord, and I think Firewalker is two of other DLCs that they made for this. Um, uh, obviously there's a Reaper IFF there, which I don't mind doing, uh, no no sorry, I, I don't mind doing the scanning in that system. Uh, very key word. There's Jacob's shit. Oh god, Jacob. Fuck. Oh god. I, I don't wanna- I don't wanna kill you all of boredom, guys. I really don't. But it may happen. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some plant scanning in some systems where, um, uh, where, like, it's, uh, forbidden. Actually, you know what? Before we do that... Received a new message at your private terminal. Fucking private terminal can suck it. Alright, fine. Amazing find, Alliance. Uh, thanks for... Recovering the data. The first line screw to ever just go, uh, encounter the Vorcha. Alright. Oh, we did it. I don't know why they didn't send it someone else. Why'd they send the fucking Normandy over? Alright. Research terminal, weapon upgrades too. Alright, we'll get these. Sorry, I decided to sneeze at that exact moment. And I decided that... The microphone did not need to be on for that. Alright, well that's good. Actually, did, did I ever tell, ask him about how the fuck he thinks about the shit? hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Is there anything else, sir? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. I still want to talk to people, so... We'll see. 
Uh, maybe I guess we'll do it for the last, you know, few minutes here. I'll just uh, talk to some various people on the ship, like Joker, who apparently I neglect a lot, and Garrus. I'm sure has an update. Commander, I assume everything is going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. I don't want to hear another word about anything except standard duty. Am I clear? Of course, Shepard. Joker. Clear. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe this. I assume good everything for is now. Yeah, okay. I assume well, everything is well, good shit, for now. Oh shit, no no. Alright, done that. <laughs> like how I get to yell at them every time I fucking come up here. It's great. I wonder, can I can I do anything with chambers yet? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. We would have found a way without any help from an AI. I'm sure you're right. You seem to do the impossible. But still, the elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I uh, guess it's it. No for you, Commander. I guess nobody's gonna ever feed my fish. Alright, let's go talk to some of the other people who did their missions. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened Nearly. in your life. I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. Sorry, I kind of skipped that because I thought I'd listen to that. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. You don't seem to feel guilty. Why should I? My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Your body doesn't make the decision to shoot. Your mind does. You make the choice to kill. When someone aims a gun at you, you pull your trigger. You don't think. It's reflex. Any combat training conditions the body's reflexes. My training was very thorough. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So if I shot you dead right now, a Drell court wouldn't convict me? You'd be guilty because you chose to shoot me. If my reflexes caused me to draw and fire when I saw your gun come up, I would be innocent. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. Did you take the shot? Not that day. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, 
I appreciate these chats we have. Don't misunderstand. I need to know what you're capable of. Odds are most of us will die on this mission. There's no point making friends. That's a very practical view. Probably even a wise one. Just don't make the mistake I did. There's always another mission. None of them are an excuse to make yourself an island. Yeah, but I'm a dick, so... Uh, how, how good am I on uh, Renegade points? Alright, I'm almost maxed. Which means I can start doing uh, some of the other stuff as well. Thank Fuck. You, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Yeah, I know. I'm told that a lot. I'm um, gonna talk to Garrus because, uh, fucking some calibrations on that ass. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. One way or another, we'll get the job done. I tell you I'm skeptical, but Saren doubted you and it didn't go well for him. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Reach and flexibility. Alright, well, I think I'll cut it off here, guys. We still have a couple more people to talk to. And I'll, I'll make sure I do that, so... Uh, anyways, peace out. Bye-bye.